So after the boys got back to Woodward, we got straight to work, and of course our luck, it snows more than it snowed in years in New Jersey, over a foot here. So we can't ride anything, and we actually had a really cool idea. My cousin Dylan, about a year ago, he bought one of the Snowgo bikes, and the Snowgo bikes are pretty amazing. He actually never even rode it before, so he's had it for a year, and we thought about it. Maddie's like, hey, let's go test the bike out. Let's do like a test and a review on it and see how it is. So we went and picked the bike up from him, and we're going to show you guys right now. So here's the bike and it's really really complex. There's a lot of moving parts to this thing and it's it's just really well built at the same time. So I'm kind of going to go over everything and try to explain it all to you. But we'll start at the top. It's got more of like a mountain bike handlebar setup on it. Um, we ended up putting these grips on it. Uh, now this is an adjustable stem that's on it which is pretty cool. I didn't expect to see that one. Now it's got a regular headset, just like a BMX bike or mountain bike. Uh, it's got mountain bike fork style set up on it. It's got rock shocks on it. So, so that's pretty cool. Cause if you're going down a mountain, like, and you're jumping anything, if you land hard, you know, there will be some give from that. So, and then if you look down here on the front, what would you call this, Matt? Is this thing? Front ski. The I front don't know. ski. That's okay. right. I don't know the terminology here. So the front ski, you can see it's it's really awesome, man. Like it's really high tech. Like it's it's super high quality stuff. You can see the metal that's on the side of the ski right there. On the back, there's like a shock absorber right there. So that means the ski can go up and down, and it can go over different terrains, which is pretty cool. The back end of the bike right here, I, I keep on calling it a bike, even though it doesn't have any wheels on it. But there's nothing else to say about it. It's what it's trying to be. Um, you can see there's like a pivot point right here is really complex all of these things everything moves here and I'm kind of going to explain it right now um, the back skis there's two of them so which is good because it's going to be nice and stable now you're supposed to put your feet underneath these hooks right here now when you want to turn this thing you can actually lean it so you can see all those pivot points they turn like easily there's no resistance at all to this so this should be pretty amazing if you're carving down a hill the center part um, when I was looking at it at first I was like what is the point of this this is just gonna get in the way but it's got one of those leashes on it so like if you're on a mountain and you end up falling off of it this thing it weighs like I, we're guesstimating probably like 40 pounds I think 45 pounds um, at least so if this thing was on a hill and it has these amazing skis on it, then it would be gone. So that's why the leash is on it. So we're not gonna be riding this thing on a proper mountain today because we live like two and a half hours from one. We wanna bring it there eventually, but today we're just gonna do a quick basic test and we're gonna go to the bike shop. We're gonna set it up on the track area where there's like a hill and we're gonna make some jumps and just see how it maneuvers. So we're gonna go get BK and me and Maddie are gonna go meet him on over there. It's been a pretty fun day with it so, so far. So far it's been working. Yeah, we've only done a little bit of practice. You can see behind us, we're using the starting hill of the track and then we have a jump right here that the guys are going to test out the rainbow kicker is in the middle of that right there you can see the edge of it the reason why we did that is because the snow is it's freezing out and like it's just so powdery it just doesn't want to pack in so this is going to be the maiden voyage right now to see if this thing works i'm not, go I'm not scared go of for it. it then this is going to be sick though if it does work it i'm just saying the last time i went through the lip that we made <laughs> and landed on my yeah. back but that was with a real bicycle so i'm hoping i have a little bit of better odds on an actual dedicated <laughs> snow bicycle so. yeah that was bad all right Let's do this. We got Maddie up at the top. Justin's helping us film. We got the uh, phone angle up there. I'm gonna be down here for the carnage. The first jump of the day. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. That was actually pretty that legit. Yeah, I'm pretty psyched on that one. All right, BK, you're up tail whip. There's no way that thing's tail whipping. Come on, dude. If you can't do it, who else is gonna do it? If you wanna do a one-hander, I highly recommend it. Whoa, that was sick. <laughs> This You're thing is flying. awesome. We really need to get this to a real hill. Like this is just a crappy little hill. It looks awesome. I'm just glad it works. That's all that I really cool. want to know. All right, here goes Justin. Yeah, Jay. His first jump. Oh! I thought he was flipping the bars. Look at that, his face. Dude, you know Daniel did. I think. More than happy, I just got out. <laughs> I, think he was was leaning, I don't know what happened. That was, no, I think he was leaning forward instead yeah. of Yeah. So the question is, Matt, is it trickable? And if it is trickable, what trick should be done? It is definitely trickable. We need to do bar spin. Right bar now. spin would be pretty epic. Ski spin. Really epic, actually. It's got a big ski, so you, I tried it flat and it doesn't work at all. We need height. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get max height off this thing and throw a bar spin. Cool. Come on, Matt. Send it, dude. Throw them bars. Yes! That was so good! What a beast, man! 
That was really he easy. Came oh. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Come on, Matt. <laughs> that was sick. So we have the jump pretty much made at this point. BK is testing to see how it feels going up it. Ooh, what do you think? It's a little soft down there, huh? I think once I go like fine, once I get speed. Yeah, I think it'll be okay, right? As you can see, it's digging in, but the stuff just doesn't want to pack. And on the other side of the fence, Maddie is sorting out the landing because my dad ended up plowing the area. So we need to get some more snow over here so BK stays safe. But it didn't so, move, so. so Matt, you don't want to take the snow from where BK's going to land. I got this! I, I just, just there's a lot of snow on the you sides. Come back in 10 you don't know where I'm what about all that fluffy stuff right there? You'd be don't throwing. Don't worry, I've got this. VK's big jump coming on up. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. But he's still getting on it. <laughs> Here he comes. This is going to be epic. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he that clipped the so top cool. of the fence. Oh, okay. dude, <laughs> that was awesome. You just did a, did a uh, ski tap. You did, dude. That was okay. pretty epic. That was a little faster. Come on, BK. Oh, he is flying. Yeah! <laughs> he, went, he went tumbling. <laughs> BK's big jump. He is cranking down the hill right now. Come on, BK. Yo! That was perfect! What a beast! That was really legit. Man. BK sweats so bad in his helmet that it froze and now I can't leave it on without anything under it. You just said you got a brain freeze from oh putting my the helmet God. on? I've had it on for two seconds, just started like freezing in the front of my forehead. <laughs> Sorry, I have no hair. It has nowhere else to go. I gotta go hood on or something. This so what are you doing right now? Why don't you tell everybody? I, uh, you know, I'm just getting the, the 180 warmed up on the old snow go bike. Bring like, it to I the figured streets. out a way to do like almost like a like a crazy looking pop thing, and try and turn it. And uh, now I'm finally feeling like it could happen. Cool, let's do it. So I'm gonna go a little bigger, a little faster. Get the 180. Awesome. Taking it to the streets. Nice, Matt. Yeah. That was dialed. Good job. I can't believe how much stuff we were able to get done with just this little setup yeah, here, man. So are you gonna bring this to Mountain Creek or what? I need to bring it to Mountain Creek. I don't know if you could actually bring your own oh, snow. Oh, you bike. don't know that? No, I've no it's not mine. I have no I idea. Thought Mountain Creek allows Mountain it. Mountain Creek allows them. Then I don't know if you could bring your if own. If you can bring your own snowboards, no why idea. wouldn't they not let Dude, you bring your own snowboards? I don't know, maybe bike. it's gotta pass qualification. Maybe they don't want the sketchy one we had in the garage for a little while, well, you know? We're talking about a snow go. So right? <laughs> if if I'm just saying, if anybody has a connection to Mountain Creek or anybody from Mountain Creek, let me know. And I'm ready. Maybe you could just go. Google it or call it, lazy guy. <laughs> Ridiculous, Why man. Have somebody Try to get know. somebody else That's easier. To let you know. I mean, I think Googling it would be a lot easier. You would think, right? Just, hey, does Mountain Creek allow these? Unbelievable. Well, we're going to sort that out and we're going to get it there because BK is going to do BK's big jump at Mountain Creek. <laughs> BK's big <laughs> jump. So we definitely approve of the snow go. I think it's amazing to see how much engineering went into this thing and to see, you know, what what it's capable of. Like, I'm just so excited to, for these guys to bring it to a mountain. Like, I can't go on a mountain. It would be a nightmare. But this is Eddie, by the way. This is my mom's uh, new puppy. Now, there's actually a, uh, we did a test on him to see what kind of a dog he is, uh, because he was supposed to be a poodle and a Labrador, and there's a lot of speculation that he's not. <laughs> we don't know if he's either of them or not, but we sent it in, and we're going to see what he is. So if you guys have any guesses in the comments, please put it below, and we will see. Um, but a lot of people are saying Australian Shepherd. Um, like, I know the color big time looks Australian Shepherd, but I, I, I don't know. I really don't know what to say, but he's, he's a wild little guy. This thing is really awesome. If you guys are interested in it, I would definitely recommend it. The quality is amazing. I saw on their website, it looks like they have got a little bit more expensive than when my cousin got this one. I think my cousin got this for, what, 1800 Matt? Something heard, like that? Yeah. The new ones I saw that are on the website are like 2500 but they're definitely, I think they changed a couple things and made them a little bit nicer at, at the same time. But definitely approve of this thing, and I feel like if you guys are into riding bikes and you guys are into any sort of skiing or snowboarding or anything like that, I think this thing would be amazing so hopefully we'll be able to bring it to the mountains and we'll be able to film it for you guys soon so we'll see you in the next video guys peace